to KWAG TV 14 Sports. Today we're here at beautiful Hickam Bowling Center for the Roto Grip Open. Hi, my name is Scott Mitomura, and here with me today is Caroline Kawano. Hi, Scott. We had a great turnout today, 82 bowlers. We had a high score of 269, bowled by Darrell Okamoto, and we had a 694 by Keith Hiani, all bowled on our PBA Scorpion pattern. Well, you know, the PBA Scorpion patterns can be a little bit difficult. If you didn't play it right, you got stung today. That's right. Uh, so moderate scoring, but I think the people that made it to the TV show really got a good handle on the lanes today. And it's going to be real exciting. we got a good sure mix is. of uh, bowlers on the show today. In our number one seed, we have Daryl Locomoto. Okay, well, Daryl's key is today is to watch ball speed, play lane straight up, averaging 230 today. One of our Hall of Famers, 13 titles. And guess what? This is his sixth consecutive TV show. That is just amazing. Daryl is just red, He's red, hot, fire. on fire. <laughs> and, you know, uh, in, in the uh, running for the Bowler of the Year, but um, he right. is just red, hot. Number one position today. See the second today, we have Scott Ibarra. Hey, Scott's keys today is to stay down on shot, be lucky. He averaged 225 today, and he's got six TV titles. Well, you know, he doesn't need to be lucky because he won against he's, you. <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to ball great today. He, he smashed me in match play today. He's trying to ball really good. He's going to be really dangerous today. And see the third, we have Daniel Miyamoto. Hey, Daniel's keys today is feed ball to the track, control mid lane, averaging 214 today with four. Four titles, and guess this. He comes out one time this season, and he makes TV. Well, you know, <laughs> Daniel's very experienced. He's bowled on the Scorpion pattern uh, before, a uh, fellow PBA member. Uh, he's really dangerous. Once he gets lined up, he's going to be hard to beat. See, the fourth, we have Kyle Gregory Ortiz. Hey, Kyle's keys today is to beat Uncle Justin Stevens. Spare, averaging 212 today, one of our youth bowlers, first time on TV, and he's also a 2011 USBC Pepsi Challenge champion. Well, you know, Kyle's got a great game, and it's going to be first time in history. We're going to have two two-handed bowlers bowling against each other That's in the first right. match. So it's going to be real interesting. And our number fifth seed, we have Justin Stevens. Okay, Justin's keys today is to stay out of trouble. And adjust properly, averaging 211, seven titles, and one PBA regional title. That's why he's on TV. Well, and Justin won his PBA title here at Hickam Bowling Center wow. on the Scorpion pattern. So talk about someone that knows how to play this pattern. Oh it's going to be Justin. So it should be great action today. I don't know who's going to win. We'll find out. We'll be right back after these messages for our first match. Hello everyone, we're today we're here at beautiful Hickam Bowling Center for the Roto Grip Open. And it's got me tomorrow here with Carolyn Coano and Shirley Cato. And here we have our first TV match of the Roto Grip Open. And we have Car Kyle Ortiz against Justin Stevens. And here we go. Kyle is currently averaging 192, which is his lifetime high. High game of 280. High series of 751, and his first time on TV. He is a junior bowler. Wow. There's our first shot, and boy, uh, we've got two two-handed bowlers bowling against each other. And this is going to be very interesting. Justin currently averaging 225, lifetime high of 239, six 300 games, two 800 series, high of 823. 26 times on TV with seven titles. Wow. Oh, I have to wonder if uh, Justin has any kind of influence on Kyle since Kyle does call him uncle. <laughs> well, look at all the revs and the speed. Good results. You know, it seems to be working for these two bowlers, Shirley. You think... Like, I might have a chance if I converted over to this style. No, you're too old. <laughs> but that would be very interesting to find out. You don't have to be so <laughs> well, brutally let, blunt. <laughs> Let's be honest. It takes a lot of... Uh, it takes you. a lot takes of bending, power. huh? Sure. You know, it's, it's a very difficult... It's a very difficult style to master. 
and um, if you start young, it's better. Ah, okay. Watch the six spin. It's gonna rattle around in the channel. It knocks out the the ten pin. Kyle up on uh, lane six. Today, Kyle had games of 166, 235, and 236 for a series of 637. He went on to defeat Wes Flores, 209 to 201, and then he went on to defeat Chad Pohas, 217 to 213. That was a good match. Well, knocked off some experience on his way to the TV show today. And he was our fourth seed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. It makes, misses the 610. Well, first time on TV for Kyle. Let's see if he settles down here. And uh, the, the best way to settle down is throw more strikes. Right. He wants to thank uh, Mel for sponsoring him. His parents, sisters, grandparents, Raymond, Roy Yamanuha. Oh. How did that stand? Also, thanks to Justin, Sean, Derek, Jason, Scott, Oni, and Cody Giebel. Now, would you consider that a ripoff? I know you use that term. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> they That's got ripped off. How did that stand? Absolutely. <laughs> KV's Pro Shop is located inside of Fort Shafter Bowling Center. For the latest bowling balls and accessories, see Ray or Elena Cow and Chris LaBoy over at V's Pro Shop or call them at 847-0950. Okay, Justin had games today of 220, 211, and 256 for a 687 series. He went on to defeat Gary Azumi, 187 to 162, and then went to defeat Jeremy Ledette, 182 to 159. Justin working on two strikes. Oh, this ball is just... He is fun to watch. And so far, um, he hasn't got ripped off yet, Shirley. <laughs> Playing the deep inside line. Look at that Look power. Look at the pins off flying. You like that, huh? Yeah, power. <laughs> you like the power. Two hand power. Two hand power. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> well, two hand power going for spam right now. That's right. Before four in a row. Your spam. Crossing about the 20 board, out to the right eight. It. Oh, wow. Wow. Two, four, eight, ten. And I guess that's the, you know, it's high risk, high reward. You know, mm. if, if you get it too wide, you could leave some um, interesting leaves. <laughs> But one of his keys must have stayed out of trouble. But yeah. I guess not. That's trouble on that one. And oh, he's going for it. Oh, what and a nice that try. That is one of the difficult ways of picking it up, getting the ball to the left side. Almost. That is a precision shot. Well, I guess that's why he won the PBA regional title. Well, the clock and trophy shop is your one stop award headquarters. If you need custom trophies or medals, engravings, plaques, ribbons, award clocks, or radios, please call the Clock and Trophy Shop at 845-0900. There goes the Brooklyn. And uh, Mom Annie says, we'll take that. <laughs> well, that's why there's more than can, one pocket. And can we're going to see voice. it again. Like similar line, he just didn't project it off enough right, but that's a flush Brooklyn. And a little bit of rain, lane trouble here. Smoking. I've well, got a temporary delay here. Hopefully it'll be really short. And uh, let's take a break. We'll be right back after these messages. here at Hickam Bowling Center. Uh, after that short break, we're in the fifth frame of the first match. Kyle Ortiz up on lane five. Trips the 10-pin, gets his first double of the match. 
now trailing by eight pins. It's Justin Stevens. Now Justin up. Uh, he's working on that split, his uh, last frame, fourth frame. I think he'll be back in the pocket. Let's take a look at his line. 20 board out to about the 10. Oh, oh no. bad break. 410 split. I was just a little high. Would with, you consider that a ripoff? Oh, no, no, not really. <laughs> but with any kind of luck, he would have tripped the four out. Oh. Bad break. I think he's going to try and go for it. Oh, oh try to bounce oh. it out. Oh. Will it? Will it? Wow. And that's, uh, that's one of the ways of converting those splits. You can either slide it over or you can <laughs> bounce it out, which he did. A special thanks goes out to Razo Kubo of Peace Within. Uh, she provides massages to our champions and second place finishers every week. That's Raz's magical touch. Provide you with inner peace for better health. Call Raz and Kubo of Peace Within. 841-4752. Okay. Three smits in a row. Well, that is not good. Justin, you know, talked about trying to stay out of trouble and making the right adjustments, but um, yeah. he seems to be having trouble, especially on lane uh, lane five, where the ball's not finishing for him. We're going for this one. Nice Ooh, shot. That, that was a TD. Great shot. shot. You'd have to do one of them. Let's watch it again. Okay, this is his this first This is his ball. first. See how the ball was sliding at the yes. end? Yes. And not face up. They didn't finish. And he thought it was pretty good, you know, but he's he's hitting a, like an oil spot down the lane. You know, they're, they're playing just about the same line. Uh, if anything, Kyle is a, a, little, a little softer with his speed. Just tripped out the four there. Well, you know, Came in, came in a little high, tripped mm -hmm. the four, where Justin hit the same place, mm -hmm. but left the 4-10. Um, you know, sometimes the ball, higher ball speed makes the pins fly mm -hmm. a little higher. But right now, an advantage to Kyle, because the, the lower ball speed, his ball may finish, still finish on lane five. Wow. Which it does. Nice. The difference in the roll, the, the ball mm -hmm. speed, allow the ball to just read the pattern. Mm -hmm. So I don't well, know if I don't know if uh, Justin saw that though. Hard to say. Well, he's going to have to get something started right now. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the other day before. Well, you know, when you're bowling on a lot of these uh, pro patterns, your depth adjustments become really key. Uh, controlling your ball speed and your break point. Justin's um, high on that. <clears throat> so it's not just a matter of throwing a ball, right? Anybody well, out there? Oh, that's what I if, do. If you, think, <laughs> if you think this is an easy sport, it's not. <laughs> yeah, uh, trust me. I know all the mistakes. <laughs> I'll stop by and visit Keone, Tiana, and John at Hawaii's newest premier pro shop, Striking Dynamics. They are conveniently located inside of Leeward Bowl, and they offer top quality products at first-class service for all types of bowlers. You can reach them at 454-0500. Just a reminder, Hawaii TV bowling entry forms are accepted there up to 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Ringing 10. Solid 10. Well, Justin wants to say thanks to his parents, siblings, and supportive friends. Keith Odette, Millie 